Hey everybody, I'm Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I want to talk to you about the 2020 Lawn Care Life Conference. Now, if you've been following me for a while, we have done uh, two Lawn Care Life Conferences. We did 2017 in November, 2018 in November, and instead of doing it in November of 2019, we're going to do it in January of 2020. So the official dates of the conference are January the 23rd and 24th. That's a Thursday and Friday. It's gonna be in Springville, Alabama, same place as the previous two if you've uh, been here before. But it's about 30 minutes northeast of Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, we are working on the details, the speakers, the agenda, all that. I've been putting um, some effort into getting all that together, but I'm excited about it. I'm taking the feedback we got from the previous two. And so in this video, I'm gonna tell you a, a little bit about what we got going on and I want to show you some clips from last year one of the things we're doing a little bit different this year is last year what we tried to do we tried to split the group up at one point and those who were interested in kind of the mowing side of the business and those that were interested in weed control and fertilization side of the business and so we had different speakers for each side of the room uh, well, we took them to a different room. Well, what I want to do this year is is not do that. I like to keep everybody together. So how I'm doing that is I'm going to have one day, the first day, dedicated toward mowing and business practices, marking, things like that. And then the second day is going to be totally dedicated to the weed control and fertilization. A couple reasons for doing that. One, I want to, I, I feel like every time we try to get into the, the weed control stuff, we're, we're rushed. So I want to give more time to that entire day to that. And then two, it allows people to, to have an option. If they're only interested in mowing and things like that, then you can just come for day one and it's a cheaper price for that. If you're only interested in weed control, you can just come from day two and, and, and have, pay the price for that. Or if you want to come to both days and, and get the, you know, both sides of it and as well as the business practices and things we're going to cover on day one then then you can do that and so um, i'm working you know as far as the pricing goes a one-day tickets 149 or two-day tickets 239 if you use the code youtube you'll get 10 percent off of that if you uh, bring if you register more than you know two people or more you'll get 15 percent off so i encourage you to to bring a group so anyway just giving you the details let me show you some footage from last year and really excited i'll be coming out soon hopefully with some of the speakers sponsors things like that that are help make this event possible quickly the other thing i'm working on is uh, doing a couple of small mentoring groups now i say small I mean, that's on purpose to have i'm thinking five to ten people in in two different groups where one group's going to be for those again in the mowing side of the business looking to get going lawn care and the other or for people that want to get into the weed control side of the business and we will um, do that over video and so that is uh, another option something i'll be coming out with details for on both those uh, for the conference i'm trying i've got registration up i'll put that link in the description if you want to get go ahead and register early now i've learned this through doing this getting a lawn care person to register early for a conference is is like asking my kids to wait and open their christmas presents the day after christmas it's nearly impossible so i can say you know here's a discount if you register or whatever i just forget all that because i know what happens is they wait till the very end and that's when they register so anyway but i'm putting it out there i'll be getting the, the website and details all that'll be at lawncarelife.com and i'm working on putting that together so some some footage from last year hey guys this is brian with top notch lawn care just got done with the lawn care life conference put on by Jason Creel and his wonderful family. I tell you what, this place could not be any better. We got a lot of great information, a lot of great speakers. The food was awesome. If they're putting this on next year, you definitely need to come. Hey, I'm Alan Hayden, the Lawn Care Nut. We are just about wrapping up the 2018 Lawn Care Life Conference. Let me tell you, I mean, this is my first one. This is the second one overall. My first one here. I could not believe how many people were here and how awesome the conversations we had. I actually learned more than I think most of the attendees did. Even though I got to speak a couple times, I learned more about their businesses, what they're struggling with, some of the things they're winning on, some of the things they're challenged with. And it was really cool to be able to like take my content and kind of like form it in real time to answer these questions as the conference went along. And that's the value in these kind of conferences that are still small where you can have interaction with people. I'm actually able to take and hone my content in during the conference to make it that much more relevant. I am really looking forward to 2019. I think it's gonna be even better and I can't wait to see you there. Hey, my name is Marae. 
I'm Molly. And I'm Edward. Thanks, Jason, for having us here at the 2018 Lawn Care Life Conference. We're so excited to be here, meeting all these great folks in the lawn care industry. See you next year. Who here has traveled or drove more than two hours? Shoot your hand up for me. Holy cow, that's like everybody. Look around, that's pretty good stuff. You leave here today with at least some initial steps to take to move your weed business to a new level to help you be successful. Think about your business, and I'm gonna give you a lot of stuff to think about. Pay attention to your business. Dive deep into the numbers. How you guys doing? My name is Rodney Smith Jr. I'm originally from the island of Bermuda, but I stay in Huntsville, Alabama. And in 2015, I was driving, I was leaving school, and I came across this elderly man outside mowing his lawn and it looked like he was struggling, so I pulled over and helped him. And that night I decided I'll start mowing free lawn for the elderly, disabled, single moms and veterans in Huntsville, Alabama. For most small businesses, TV's out of reach, radio's out of reach, newspaper's out of reach, direct mail is expensive, but the internet is the ultimate level playing field. And in fact, you now have the advantage over the big companies because they have too many rules that stop them. Um, and you, if you reignite your passion, you could really come out and you could do something really big very, very quickly, as these gentlemen over here will show you later. I do stutter, and I always like to let everybody know right off the bat before I was actually the starting quarterback for my Opelika Junior High School football team. And in 1985, I'll never forget the first game we were playing in South Gerard out of Phoenix City, Alabama. And I was the starting quarterback, and, and, and we were down by five. Uh, 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 there was only one minute left in the game, but, but, but we had all three timeouts left. I knew that I was going to be able to drive my team down for that winning score, and I dropped back to pass, and I hit my best friend Adrian over the middle for a nine-yard gain, and I ran down to the referee. I said, time, 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 I, 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 I timeout. He charges with all three timeouts, and we lost that game. And I promise you, the oldest person in here that's been in the business the longest can learn from the newest person, and the newest person can learn from the oldest person. The way money works is it grows over a long period of time. It's not just an overnight thing, right? It's not, it's like growing a tree. It is the closest thing to printing money in the green industry as you can get. So if you're not doing it, you seriously need to consider it. There is a desire one day to have a business that functions on its own without that if you broke your leg would your business go in the tank within two weeks you know and i i, I think about that kind of stuff i don't have aflac hope uh, some of you can make it to the conference leave questions in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys later